everybody welcome back to another edition of what's in the box um so remember the last like uh i think i picked up it was what uh two of the 10 card packs uh that had some beta and stuff in them alpha well guess what i ordered from the same guy except this time i went a little bit bigger i got two 50 card packs So there's going to be a hundred cards in here. Package is done well. I'll give it that. One of the 50 card packs. I think these are... Oh, wait, he gave me bonuses again. Yeah, those look like 50 card packs. All right. So I ended up, I made him an offer because um, it was his last two remaining. So let me check out real quick what that offer was. What did I pay for these things? Um, we paid 50 bucks a pack. So. 50 and 50. So I got a hundred hundred dollars sitting there. Let's see if that is going to be worth it. Um, let's first check out his bonus that he always gives me. A reliquary tower. There's usually more than one in there too, so let's see what else. It might just be the reliquary tower. Yep, it's just double sleeved and everything. So yeah, and, and my favorite. You know how I love. Oh, I hate these uh, sleeves. But yeah, reliquary tower. So a decent start. All the nuances. Okay, first first fifty dollar pack we got here, guys. Looks like he did them in packs of ten, which is what he did last time. Ooh, and he has them all all mysteried, like both front and back. All right, so let's start with the first ten cards here, shall we? First 10 cards. All right. Well, I see white border, so that's good. Ooh, that one looks kind of beat. I don't know if you guys can quite see how beat it is because I'm using the webcam because my phone is in the shop. There we go. Oh, look. It's... Wow. My webcam is just going insane. Dial it back out, buddy. Dial it back out. And it is a Howling Mine. I think that's what we got last time, wasn't it? Howling Mine. So how long, it's a revised Howling Mine. Pretty beat, heavily played. All right, let's see what the other cards hold. Predator Ooze, okay. Ah, Wild Pear. I thought Wild Pear was worth something. I could be wrong. Isn't it? Isn't Wild Pear worth something? So the object is to get at least ten to fifteen dollars out of each one of these, if not more. I'm going to start uh, looking up stuff as as we go along. I believe wild pears were something it used to be. It could be no longer. Who knows? No, it's just a buck or two card. Okie dokies. So is predator ooze worth anything? I don't think so. I just think it's like a quarter rare. Uh, like 50, 50 cents. I mean, so far I think the best card is the Reliquary Tower. Well, Holly Mine might be up there. Let me check. 
yeah, Howling Mine even beat up is is pretty decent. Alright, anyways, let's continue on. Our next card is a Chroma, Angel of Wrath. Now that one might indeed be worth a few bucks. Nope, just a few bucks. Nothing special. Oh, I keep hoping. All right. Well, here's hoping. Here's hoping and doping. Foil, Pillar of Flame. Uh, that looks like a DCI promo. Just going to put the foils there. Uh, a foil hate flare. Oh, no, wait. Is that, that's just a regular hate flare. Is hate flare worth anything? Uh, again, I don't think so. But let us do a quick summary. Couple bucks. And a Gladeheart Calvary. Corrupted Graphstone, Amunda's Vanguard, and Illusionary Gains, of which I don't think any of those qualify for any type of particular note. So I think we're down on that pack, but I could be wrong. I'll do a quick reference check. Ten cents for the illusionary game, but I mean, uh, some with the release of Core Set, um, some card prices have changed. Yeah, that's a ten cent or two. Uh, Fifty center. And ten center. So yeah, like all together, not including that, that was what two three four like maybe five or six bucks, so we're a little bit behind. Let's hope the next pack is better. And oh, it looks like we got uh, revised or something on the bottom. Um, so yeah, it's a single sleeved. It is a signed unsummon. We got that last time, if you guys remember right. Um, so I'm going to have probably a playset of unsummons. Um, and once again, it's in the uh, sleeve that I absolutely hate. But, oh yeah, here, we'll put that here. I don't think it's worth anything, but we'll see. All right, next card is, oops, they stuck together. A recantation. Why are you zooming in? I am not telling you to zoom in. We zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. There we go. Recantation. Again, I don't think it's worth anything. I'll double check. A volcanic Dragon from Portal. A Heart of Chiron. That's mythic. That might be worth something. Let us see once again. Yeah, Recantation is a quarter. Ooh. 
Oh, that's not a pre-release. It's like, yeah, so that's like 50 cent. Volcanic Dragon I know is not worth anything. All right, so. Oh, so far, not looking good, guys. Not looking good. Are we zooming in again? No, not yet. Okay. Balance. I believe balance is like 20 to $30. I will double check, but... No! It changed. Oh my god, that used to be such a freaking powerhouse. Now it's like 50 cents. Wow. Okay, that's a shocker, guys. Um, Royal Assassin, I know is like quarter. Kiora, uh, best the sea god. Um, yeah, not. Creepy doll, couple bucks. Ooh, ooh. We do have a Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Full art foil. Let's see what that one's worth. I don't think the Palisade Giant is worth anything either, but Godzilla might be. Twelve bucks. Thirteen bucks. So, yeah. That one made up for the pack, and so now we're about even. Between the two packs, we're about even. Because again, I don't think uh, Kiora is worth that much. I'll double check, but I haven't got all my new uh, last couple sets down pat, and the prices have been changing so drastically. Yeah, it's a buck and a half. So yeah, I mean... I think we're about even between the two packs, so we'll we'll say we're about twenty. We're close. And quit honing in. All right, next pack. And he seems to do this with every every one so far. As he has this whoops. He has this one card, signed Fisher from the Dark. Again, I don't think it's anything special. But I do uh, have a bunch of Doug Schuler's signature autographs, and that is his signature. So, to a collector, it is worth something somewhere. Um, all right, let's start with the rest of the pack. We have Return of the Wild Speaker. Nope. Hey, hey, zoom back out. Zoom back out. There we go. I don't know. This is kind of a weird effect with my camera. We have a suspension field foil promo. I don't know. That might. I doubt it, but let us see. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. He needs to go over here. But suspension field. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I was keeping the signed cards there, too. I, I'm, I'm just doing weird things. Suspension field. Yeah, no. <laughs> like a 10 cent card. Awesome sauce. All right. Next card. Hand of the Praetors. I can't remember. Because there's so many from Scars and stuff that are now worth big cashola. I don't know if Hand of the Praetors was one or not. Three bucks. So not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. I uh, will take three bucks towards the overall pack. Immaculate Magistrate. I think that one's worth it. You know what? Let's go through a few of them and then we'll do them all at once. Life and Limb. A Foil. Noose Constrictor. Promo. Sag Sagu Mahler, Arbiter of the Ideal, I know is worth diddly. An Elite Inquisitor. Alright, so let's look up those ones real quick while my camera decides to be bonkers and hone in on absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'm liking this effect though. It's kind of it's kind of like I'm making something special out of nothing. 
news constrictors quarter quarter got it got it I think uh, elite inquisitor is maybe a buck maybe two bucks nope like 25 cents arbiter of the ideal I know is diddly squat yeah 10 center Sagu Mahler the life and limb that's a couple bucks so I think we made our 10 bucks let's see what immaculate magistrate is but yeah, buck and a half. So we made our 10 back on that pack. Nothing spectacular, nothing outstanding, but hey, we're so far even. I can go even, Steven. I mean, obviously, when I resell, um, not going to make quite as much, except for maybe sign cards. I might on the. Ooh, he didn't give me a little s s single sleeve. All right, so let's see what that bottom card is. It is a Sphinx of the Magosi. So that's like a quarter, if that. Verdant Force from Dominaria. I think that's still only going to be like a quarter. Ooh, a Deceiver of Forms might be worth something. I'll have to look that one up. Sahili's Artistry. Whoa! Camera. Camera. Zoom. Zoom, zoom. There we go. I mean, I like the effect, but hey. Uh, Identity Thief. And it's going again to my hand. Why is it going? Why is it going to my hand? I don't know. It likes my hand. I think I got some creepy hand person watching my cam. Um, a Nightmare, which is Diddly Squat. Herald of Torment. Again, I think Diddly Squat. I'm not sure on Captain's Hook. Smothering Abomination and a Deep Sea Kraken. I don't think we did anything there. Um, let's go through them again real quick, but I don't think so. I think that might be like the, the first pack just not any value so yeah there's 50 cent 50 cent oh oh no that's not a pre-release so there's another quarter card And another quarter card. So we're up to a buck. Another uh, quarter card, buck twenty-five. Nightmare is probably a ten-cent card. Yeah. Uh, Identity Thief. Nope. Another 10 cent card. So between those, that's another quarter. So we're looking at a buck and a quarter. Book and a half. I mean, we can't expect them to all be huge value. I decided to make an investment opportunity, and it is not panning out thus far. So we're at what well, buck fifty out of that pack. Another ten center. I know Sphinx is a quarter, so. Was that all 10 of them? And the noose? No, that was all 10. The noose was in the last pack. So, yeah, we're about down by 8 bucks. So, hopefully, this last pack here will go ahead and one, two, three, four, five. Did we go through 5?
Yeah, we did. Okay, wow. All right. Last pack, guys. Let's hope for some good out of the first $50 repack. So let's start with the bottom cards. We got a hippie that's signed. All right. The signed hippie. God, I hate. Um, and we got a regular uh, revised Royal Assassin. I really don't think it's worth much because it's been reprinted up to Yin Yang. Now, if it was a beta, oh my god. All right. Oops. All right. We got a Demanding Dragon. Again, I don't think there's any value. Crypt Angel, again, no value. Death Pit Offering, maybe a little value. Bioplasma, I don't think so. Masterminds Acquisition, don't believe so. Yavamaya Coast is like maybe a two, three dollar card. A Quicksmith Rebel pre-release. And a Territorial Allosaurus. So, quick review, let's see. We were at, what, 32, so we needed to get 18 in order to get our value back. So this just goes to show you guys, everything's a gamble. That first time was good. Not so much on these ones. So yeah, that's a 10 center. So the hippie is, like, really... I mean, because it's signed, it can be considered damage. But, um, so we'll give it a quarter value. Allosaurus is like 50. Oh, no, wait, that's the pre release. Never mind. Give it a 10 cents. So we're up to uh, 50 cents. So we're at like. $33, $34 overall. Buck, so $35. Um, a buck and a half, so $36, close to $37. We'll go 37. <laughs> 37 again. Yeah, I think I think we'll be lucky to break uh 40. All right, so we'll go to 38. Um, I'd probably still say 38. He's only like a few cents. And uh, last but not least, a buck. So yeah, we're about like 39, 40-ish, all told with like the reliquary tower and whatnot. Um, so that first uh, $50 bundle, uh, we lost a little, but hey, that you know, I'm not upset. The cards are nice. They span the decades. Lots of uh, interesting cards, um, including signed ones, so I am not going to be upset. And it's always a gamble. I mean, I'm still ahead overall from the one seller, so we'll put those to the side as we open up the second $50 pack and hopefully wow how do you seal this one? Oh, one two three four five guys count them one two three four five all right let us go with the first one Do I feel I do feel a special card in there? 
It is a fierce guardianship. I don't know if that's worth anything or not. Um, I guess let's look it up. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Not familiar with the price of this one. So. And ding, 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 we have a winner. 30 bucks, guys. 30 bucks. 30 bucks. He's going right into a regular poly sleeve. And that is minty, minty, mint. So nice. Very nice. All right. So we're at 30 bucks already. Um,. We might make up for the last one. Who knows, guys? Uh, on to the rest of the pack. Lightning Runner. Rhythmic Water Vortex. Charnel Troll. Nehib the Worthy. Man, th these are some good commander cards, though. Chamber Sentry. And we're going focus, focus, focus. And go back out. <laughs> i got to figure out what's up with my... I haven't used my webcam since I started using my phone. So, uh, Tezzeret's Betrayal. Mechanic... Merchant Stockhand. Bludgeon Brawl. And a Chandra's Outburst. So, I mean, we already know we're ahead for the that first pack if not possibly the entire repack so let us check what is it uh lightning runner don't think he's worth much eh, quarter uh rhythmic And again, we have a 10 center. I was hoping for some more beta or alpha cards. 20 center on the charnel. Quarter on the Nehab. And center on the chamber sentry. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Ten center on Tezzeret's betrayal. I mean, I can't, I can't complain. The the first card was more than enough. Ten, ten, not even a ten center on the merchant stock hand. Bludgeon Brawl, oh my god. That has to be like a 5 center. Though it is from New Phyrexia, so it could be up in price. Yeah, it's a quarter. And it looks like... Why is that a rare? Oh. I typed in outrage instead of outburst. I'm like, what is going on here, folks? Big difference. Yeah, 10 cents difference. So maybe a couple bucks. So we'll 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 say we're at 32. We'll say we're at 32. Alright, next pack. So we've already in that one pack got as much value as we did in that entire other five packs, which I can handle. All right, we do have. Oh, we have we have a couple again. So, Diddly Rollick. Is that worth anything, folks? Diddly Rollick. Ten bucks. We shall take it. 
So that puts us at 42. I'm just going to keep it in the tight sleeve for right now. 42. And we also have an Elspeth, Sun's Champion. Oh, that has to be like a 10 buck, I think, isn't it? At least. It is. Yeah, nine bucks. So, wow. Okay, so we're already at what? Forty-two, fifty-two. Well, around fifty bucks already. So I guess we can't complain. We already made our money back. So let's see if we can get our other eight dollars plus a little interest. Vraska. Wow, this is like the mythic pack or something, man. I don't know if Rask is worth anything, but uh, might be. I mean, it'll be at least three or four dollars. I mean, it's not like a huge ten dollar card. Nope, it's Fifty Saints. Fifty Saints. All right, and next we have Celestial Mantle. Is that Mythic worth anything? I think it is. It's Zendikar, so that's always going to be something. Three bucks. So we're at like 53, 54-ish. That belongs over there. Um, next card is... Again, we'll probably just... I'll probably just do the rest. Groundbreaker. Phyrexian Unlife, I think is worth at least a couple bucks. Demigod of Revenge from orig original Shadowmoor. Sage of the Inward Eye. Slayers and Niv Mizzet, the Fire Mind. Okay, so I know Niv Mizzet is worth a couple more bucks. Um, let's see overall what some of this is. So, Groundbreaker. Is a buck and a half. So that puts us around 55. Unlife is five bucks. So that puts us at 60. So now we are. No, we have to get to. Yeah. No, 60. We have to get to like 60. No. I want to say. I'm going to say 65 will put us at even. So we're at 60. Timmy God of Revenge from the original Shadowmoor is a buck, so that's 61. I don't know if Sage of the Inward Eye. Nope, quarter. Slayer's Plate is probably going to be quarter. Ten cents. Niv Mizzet, I think, is a little bit more. He is very popular in, in EDH, or AKA Commander. But no, he is actually only uh, 50 cents. So we're at about 62 overall. Uh, the majority of that obviously coming from uh, this. Wait, we have to be born 62 because there was. 30, 40, 50. Okay, we're, yeah. Whoa, guys, sorry. My math is off. 30, 40, 50. Um, and then we got another about 5, so 55 plus. So we're at 80, 90. Well, we're at 60 for this pack. We're at 60 for this pack, 62 for this pack. So that puts us at about even overall. That's that's where my math was. Okay, 62, 38. That's where my math was. All right, so we're even overall. Ooh, I got a black sleeve on the back of this one. Yeah, zoom in on that black sleeve. Yeah, because I don't know what it is. But we're about to find out. Come on. Come on. Oh, and and we got a reg wow, we got a black sleeve and a, a regular um, 
sleeve. All right, well, let's see what's on the back sleeve first. Feels like there's two cards in there. Oop, nope, I just accidentally had one stick is all. It is a Space Godzilla Death Corona. Oh my God, guys. It is not a foil. It is not a foil. Hey, hey, camera. Zoom back out. Zoom. Zumba out. There we go. But it is a Death Corona Space Godzilla. So, wow. Okay. Um, I think that definitely... Um, Increase the price level. Yeah, the non foil is worth 22. Oh, wait, no. Why does it say that then? Oh, because that one is for the foil. So the non foil is eight bucks. So we're at 70. I'm going to put him over here because he belongs over there as well. Another sleeve. All right, let's start flipping them over. We got Fire Mines Research. We have got Sphinx of Jawar Isle, and that is not a foil. That is just really sh shiny. That one is a foil. The Flame Blade Angel. Pithy Needle. Pithy Needle used to be expensive. I don't know anymore. Herald of War. Um, I think it's three or four bucks. Trastani. <sighs> you guys already see the Savoy Triome, right? O Sworn Knight and Consume and a Savoy Triome full art. I know that one's worth like uh, at least uh, eight or ten bucks. So let us look at those ones real quick. We are at 70 for this repack of five or 50 cards. So, um, yeah, let's check. Let's, uh, Pithy Needle. Again, I don't think Pithy Needle has held its price. Oh, I would be stand correct. Oh, wait, is that a return to Ravnica one? It is, so yeah, it's only a buck. So, however, still puts us at like 71, 72. Let's see what Herald of War is. Another $2 card, so we're at 74. Trustani is a 50 cent. Old Sworn Knight is a quarter. I don't even have to look that one up. Consume the Meek, though. Might be worth a little bit more. Nope. And the Savoy, Savoy Triome. Is nine bucks. So that puts us around 85, guys. 85, and we still. Oh, I didn't look up the flame blade. And we still got a. Uh, uh, two more packs left. I'm glad I ordered two and not one, because that first one would have been disappointed. Uh, pre release cards, no, it's just a foil, so yeah, it's 50. 50 cent. Uh, I forgot I had. Is that the only foil we've got so far? Out of uh, this grouping? I think so. Yeah, it is. Okay. So we do have some money cards. So I'm definitely pleased with that. All right, on to the next pack. Ooh, we got another bat card. Let's see what that is. It is a Gigan. He gave me like a bunch of the Godzilla cards. I don't think Gigan is worth as much, though. I uh, I'm not sure, but ah, thirteen bucks. <laughs> All right, so we're at what, like ninety-five ish for overall on this fifty-dollar repack. I'm good with that. We got oh, Oran Viper. Oh, we got a Dovrin Grand Arbitrator. We have a Pandemonium way back from Exodus. Hurricane. 
Uh, Carrie Zave, Skyship Raider, which was in the gift box. Um, Cincy Golden Tail might be worth a little bit. Markov Dread Knight. Boom, 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 boom. And our last two, Oath of Chandra and Verge Rangers. Zoom in. Go ahead. Zoom in while we look up prices. All right. So we got the Gigan. That was 13. Um, Ohoran Viper, which puts us at like 95 a quarter. So I'm just going to say 95. Over and is a buck, so 96. Uh, 50 cents for the uh, Exodus, Exodus, so 97 maybe. Uh, Hurricane isn't worth diddly squat because it used to be an uncommon. Uh, carry I think is also because of the gift sets is like diddly squat yeah she's like a buck okay we'll give her a buck we'll say 98 the sensei is what I'm thinking might have some hidden value but I could be wrong two bucks okay two bucks so we're at a hundred we're at a hundred Uh, quarter for the Dread Knight. Three bucks for the Verge Rangers. Okay, so we're at 103. Very nice. And the Oath is a quarter. So we'll say 103 right now. Uh, was I thought there was a foil in there. Maybe there wasn't. Yeah, there was. There was a carry Zev. All right, so we're at 103 uh, for this $50 repack. The other one we only got 38 out of. So altogether we're at 141. So one and a half times value is good. Again, I was hoping for some more beta cards. That's kind of what lured me in. But let's see what he has for our special cards. It's a little bit more worn, so maybe. <gasps> it's a beta mountain. It's a beta mountain, guys. Wait, yeah. Is that beta? Yeah, that's beta. A beta mountain. A beta mountain. Um, I'm trying to scroll through because it's hard to find... Beta edition. There we go. So five bucks. Nothing. Nothing major. Nothing spectacular. But it, I, you know, I wanted a beta card. I got a beta card. I'm exquisitely happy that I got a beta card. All right. So we start off the pack with five dollars. Sorry about that, folks. $5 on the Beta Mountain. So awesome. That puts us at 108 Uh You know what? We're just going to reveal the bottom card right now. Soul of Ravnica. Uh, I think that's worth a couple bucks. And the reveals are Murderous Betrayal, Reason, be or Reason Believe, Reason and belief, I don't know. A Riddle Master Sphinx, yeah, no. A foil, a Rasta of the Endless Web. Another foil, Prognostic Sphinx. Another foil, Taranaka, a Croyan Veteran. A Noble Panther, and the last card is Wormfang Behemoth. So, at 108 with the Mountain, 
let us look up the rest of these real quick. The Soul of Ravnica is a whole quarter! Yay! For, for a mythic, guys. Wow, but Blue always has the shittiest mythics. Look at look at the history of mythics. And you will see Blue is top of the line shit. Murders for Trail is like 10 cents. Reason Believe is another 10 cents. Riddle Master, another 10 cents. Wow. Is that the promo one? I think that's that is the promo one. So that's like Fittisense. Prognostic Sphinx is probably like a quarter as a foil. Yup. Well, that not even. That's the uh, promo one. So. Yeah, well, yeah, a quarter, I guess. Uh, Terranaka. Terranaki. Terraniki. It's another 50 cents. Noble Panther. is a quarter. And last but not least, the Worm Fang B. Hemeth. Quarter. All right. So once again, guys, we're looking at probably all together that pack uh, the, or that fifty dollar repack was probably about one hundred fifteen ish. Would be my guesstimate. The other one was thirty eight, so we're looking at about a hundred and what would that be a hundred. 53, 155. So I paid a hundred, about one and a half times my money back after fees and whatnot. Probably made 25 bucks. So I mean, the biggest thing is I wasn't expecting to make a whole bunch of money. I like seeing the older cards, like the Beta Mountain made my day. Um, it's not worth that much. It's not even worth as much as some of the other cards that I got. But I liked seeing it. That's that's the key. Um, and uh, once again, don't forget, we have a giveaway. Every 25 subscribers, uh, I'm giving away packs or sleeves, and you can either get physical ones or arena codes for ones, um, whichever your preference, or a Fortnite skin even. I'm, I'm doing Fortnite skins too. I've uh, acquired a lot of V-Bucks by doing Save the World, so which i got to start remembering to broadcast. Um, but... Yeah, so I mean, there's tons of stuff to, to get. All you have to do is subscribe to me, turn off notifications if you want, um, leave a comment below, and like the video, guys. Um, every 50 subscribers, I will be giving away something, and I will contact the subscriber um, via uh, in-game, or, or I mean, not in-game, but uh, via the chat, or um, through YouTube, uh, you can also follow me on my other platforms, including Facebook, uh, Twitch, Instagram, and of course UpLive, where I broadcast as Wildman X. You can look at the links below, follow them, download the app for uh, UpLive, and just follow me on there, as well as um, my TCG Player Store is listed below. All these singles will be uh, listed on there, um, probably before you see this video. So um, know that they will be available there. Um, and uh, I think that's it, guys. So once again, I want to thank you all for joining me in another What's in the Box? Uh, or in this case, Envelope uh, video. Um, we had some fun. We saw some old cards. We saw some new cards. We saw some value cards like um, the Fierce Guardianship. Um, so I want to... Uh, tell you all to once again have a good day 
take care of yourselves and take care of each other.